American Containers is a supplier of glass and plastic containers, also metal containers, for the uh, pharmaceutical, food, juice, soft drinks, paint industries. We are established not only in Miami, but also in Tampa, Atlanta, New Jersey, New York, California, and San Juan, Puerto Rico. We have been in business for many years, and we are happy that a lot of our executives are women. Last year, when I received the business award, I was so impressed that I decided this year I wanted to be a sponsor and uh, be part of this celebration to so many women that win awards in different categories. When I came from Cuba, I had to work for $55 a week, five and a half days. Today we have a very nice business, thanks to a lot of customers that have confidence in us. But it's difficult for a woman to start a company and to grow in a very competitive world. My advice to any young woman that wants to be an entrepreneur, that wants to build a business, is to study and have discipline. If you work hard, you will get there. My name is Kara Argamasia. I'm a commercial real estate attorney at the law firm of Adorno and Yoss. It's the largest minority certified law firm in the whole United States, uh, which is a wonderful thing uh, because I'm a Hispanic minority uh, female, and it's something the firm fully encourages the promotion of uh, minorities within our law firm, whether it be in staff or attorneys, uh, so it's something very admirable. I came to the United States uh, as a young girl uh, from Puerto Rico, and I came here not knowing this community, not knowing the English language, and I was encouraged by very strong female uh, teachers and my mother to keep pushing and keep pushing at careers that you know most women do not get involved with. So I'm a legal counsel to Crew, which is Commercial Real Estate Women of Miami, and through Crew, I've been able to participate in a mentoring program for young teenage girls to educate them about commercial real estate businesses. It does not need, need to be an attorney, but all the different professions that they can do. And they just love it. They're so excited and they do want to get out there and they have you know, all these misconceptions of what the real world is like. And it's, it's really nice to see uh, how I can build that and foster that in them. When I started a banking in the 80s, banking was definitely a very male-dominated industry, still is, uh, but more so during that time. Uh, I was a branch manager at a very young age, and I was the only branch manager at, at the bank at the time that was a woman. So there was definitely a lot of pressure, but I think that because of that, it's made me stronger, and I try to have an assertive attitude, but also take a soft approach, because as a woman, I think that we can get things done. Uh, more efficiently than, than you using the aggressive method that sometimes are used. There are very few women CEOs in banks, and uh, there's a lot of banks that have very few senior management that are women. Great Florida Bank has three women that are in senior management, so that's good. Like I said, I started banking very early in my career, but I also got married when I was very young and uh, got divorced. And during that time that I was divorced, I was a single mom. My, my mother was there for me. Um, she, she inspired me to continue. Not only did I work full time and I traveled a lot, but I also went to school at night. So um, she was there for me. She took care of my son. It was challenging to have a full time job, to travel, and to go to school at night, trying to get my bachelor's, later to get my master's as well. So it's been very challenging, but again, I think that all these challenges make, it, make you stronger and make you a better person and make you better at what you do at the bank. Intelsat, International Telecommunications Satellite Organization. So pretty much the name describes what we do, which is provide telecommunication services through satellites. Now satellites are pretty high tech. What we do is we have companies that construct these satellites and manufacture them in accordance to our very specific um, uh, technical requirements. 
We have another company, then we take those and we put it into a rocket. We actually launched these satellites. As a matter of fact, we've recently had a launch out of Cape Canaveral. Each satellite is about $350 million, so you can see it's a very high CapEx industry. We have over 50 of them, so that makes us the largest in the world. We touch everyone. You may not realize it, but we, everything that you can do in a day somehow is being touched by a satellite somewhere very far away that you can't see and have no idea. So it goes again from pagers to cell phones, to telephony, to broadcast, to direct to home are done through satellites. Well, at one time, it was a novelty to be a woman in an incredibly high-tech business as this. You know, with time, we've evolved, uh, the business is involved, and more and more women are, uh, are becoming members of this workforce. There are very few of us, but the few people who are involved, we have a very close connection. There's an immediate bonding when you meet another woman colleague, because we all know how hard we've worked to be where we are. Well, we're a travel management company. We do everything from corporate travel, vacation travel, study abroad, international trade missions. Uh, I like to say that we do planes, trains, and automobiles. We were stay-at-home moms, raising our kids, doing the PTA, driving carpools, and one day we said, let's go skiing. So some friends from school and their family, that year we was 30-some uh, of us, the second year, it was a hundred and some of us. And the third year, we were chartering two planes and taking 500 Hispanics to ski over New Year's in Vail, Colorado. So then I told my sister, Christina, this is really crazy. We should at least try to get our trips for free out of this. We're doing all this work. We became independent agents in a small agency in South Miami, and that's where we met our third partner and best friend, Ia. So that makes the three of us. Imagine what it was for two housewives raising kids, trying to say that we wanted to play and become a businesswoman. Go to a bank with that story, try to get a line of credit and see what happens. Today we have a staff of uh, 31. We have been recognized as one of the largest Hispanic companies in the nation for very many years. Uh, one of the top uh, woman-owned companies in South Florida. And we are proud of what we have.